Hey s'mores, I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to Morse Code. And yes, my hair is naturally curly. Apple recently released iOS 14.5 to the public and with it, they also introduced a new privacy feature, which is called app tracking transparency. So why does this matter? Well, this lets you know if third party applications are tracking you and it lets you opt out of that tracking on an app by app basis. Apps can track your movements within the apps themselves. They also can outside of your app after you've left your activity within that specific application. That's why you might see ads for, and I'm just hypothesizing here. That's why you might see ads for like Ikea on Instagram after talking about Ikea on Twitter. Well, it's one of the reasons why that happens. There's a lot of reasons, but I won't get into it here. A lot of tracking is generally harmless and is used to create better user interface by developers or add and remove features in applications. For example, if you use Maps or GPS or Uber or Lyft or something like that, you need to have your GPS turned on and they have to be able to track you in some sense there because they need to figure out your coordinates to function and give you correct information for example, but in a report by Washington Post back in 2019, they found a regular iPhone could have 5,400 different app trackers sending data. Of course, this does depend on which applications you've installed on your phone and how they've implemented data sharing. It's likely most of that is harmless, but it's still data about you that is being sent up to who knows what other third parties? It could be used to serve up ads about you, for example, or to marketing or research firms. And it's not all that transparent, hence Apple's response in the past couple of years to make this practice a little bit more transparent for their users. So according to Apple, this is why they are introducing the new app tracking transparency feature. Originally, this feature to add transparency was supposed to be released with iOS 14 in the fall of last year but Apple delayed the release to give developers time to prepare and time to comply. So if you see any application developers out there that are super angry at Apple about this update, like <clears throat> Facebook, then they've known about it for like half a year and they have had plenty of time to comply. So they really have no reason to complain. And in my humble opinion, they are mad because they make money off of your data and they're not gonna make as much money because they won't be allowed to track you unless you opt into that. So if you are already using iOS 14 with a lot of privacy settings enabled, then you may find that the new option after updating is grayed out. Before you update, if you go into your settings and you choose privacy and then check the Apple advertising option, then that toggle for personalized ads. If this toggle is enabled, then apparently app tracking transparency is also enabled. But if the personalized ads option is off, then app tracking transparency may also be off. If you want to update to iOS 14.5, you just go to settings, general software update, download and install. You can also turn on automatic updates while you are there. And I highly recommend that you do so. Once you have 14.5 installed, you will automatically be asked whenever you install a new app or open a new app, whether you want that application to track you or not. Now I'm going to show you how to adjust the settings in just a moment. So stay tuned. I'm gonna pull this up on my phone so I can walk you through it. The toggle should be enabled by default within iOS 14.5. So you should already see it there if you haven't already. From here, you can decide which applications are allowed to track you and which ones cannot. You can also disable tracking altogether within the privacy settings on iOS. Now, once you have iOS 14.5 installed, the first time you open that app, you should see a prompt that says, allow app to track your activity across other companies, apps, and websites. So for example, I opened the Kohl's app for shopping Kohl's on Online. And this says, allow Kohl's to track your activity across other companies, apps, and websites. To show you personalized content, the app needs tracking permission for advertisers. So that's the description that Kohl's chose to put in there. Should the app developer choose to include something there, that's where it would be included. And then there's two options below there. There's either ask app not to track or allow. Now, some apps will not function properly if you don't allow them to track. So you may want to hit allow for those, but what I would do is just ask app not to track for all apps and then turn them on on a case by case basis if they actually need trackers to work. 
or I would just turn off their ability to track altogether if I find that none of them really need trackers to work. If you do allow tracking for an app, it will then appear in your tracking settings and you can manage those at any time. So to do that, you go to settings, scroll to find privacy and then click it, choose tracking, which is all the way up at the top. And the default setting is to allow apps to ask for permission to track you. You can toggle that off to block all apps from being able to track you, which will also block them from even asking to track either. You will notice a list of apps below that setting. If an app has ever been allowed to track you, you can immediately block these apps from further tracking by switching that toggle to off. Now, if for some reason you accidentally opt out of tracking or accidentally allow tracking, you can always go into your settings and change it, or you can re-download an application to see that prompt show up as a pop-up again. One thing a lot of people have noticed, and I noticed it as well, is you may not see this setting immediately whenever you update to 14.5, but don't panic. The operating system is still working as expected. It's just that some applications have not agreed to make this feature go live yet, but until they do, they are totally blocked from tracking a user using Apple's identifier for advertisers, which is called the IDFA. Eventually though, you will start seeing the prompt, especially if you update to 14.5B or whatever it's called, if the applications want to use that data to track you. Now there's a fellow YouTuber I wanted to mention and give a shout out to, Lance Samoza over on One Tech Mind. He pointed me to this ongoing list of applications that do request tracking over on Reddit, it appears that a lot of folks are still not seeing these prompts. Even if the settings are correctly enabled, that was an issue that I experienced too. Now, I was finally able to recreate that pop-up and give you some examples once Apple pushed out another iOS update, which was a few days ago. That's the one I mentioned, which was iOS 14.5. B, I wanna say it's 14.5B. I'll put a little lower third in case that's incorrect. But now that I've gotten to test it and successfully, I'm gonna just turn off tracking entirely. And if anything breaks, then I will know then they require some kind of tracking to work. So if you are experiencing any bugs or if you have the grayed out option toggle switch in your tracking settings, or if you find that you are not seeing any pop-ups whatsoever, then check your settings, see if there is an another iOS update available because if there is, this is what solved the problem for me and that is what will potentially solve the problem for you as well. I think this is a great step in the right direction for transparency and also making users aware that apps do this kind of tracking. That's the reason why many applications are angry at Apple because they make money off of you through marketing of your data. And if they can't track you, they're not able to collect as much data about you. I'm wondering if you have seen the new prompts yet and if you are, let me know what applications are asking to track you. Comment below, let me know. And special thanks to my Patreon supporters, Buy Me A Coffee team, and members who join my YouTube channel, which is brand new, brand new option down below to get access to exclusive perks. Props to Mac Attack, Charles B, Mark W, and Dara Dune for the support this week. I'm Shannon Morse, and I'll see you soon. Bye, y'all.